What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can automatically mount drives on Linux. I'm currently using Arch Linux, but the steps are pretty much the same for all Linux distros, as long as you have FSTAB, which is pretty much a default of Linux. All right, let's talk about it. If you were to open up a new file browser, such as say Dolphin, you'll notice that most of your drives are locked by default. Upon clicking one, you'll need to enter your password in order to mount it and see your files on the other drives assuming your password is right. There we go. This is great and all. However, if you're using a wallpaper and things like that, when you put up your system, they won't be loaded until you manually open up these drives and reset your wallpaper, etc. In order to get these to automatically mount, we'll need to interact with FSTAB. So what you'll be doing is opening up a new console and in here, you'll first identify the drives you want to mount. Use lsblk F and in here, it'll tell you all of the different drives on your system. Everything that has NTFS is likely Windows. And of course, if you've given your drives names, they'll be easy to find here. What you need to do is make a note of these UUIDs here, or of course, keep this console window open as we'll be referring back to it in just a moment. You can also see the default mount points if you already have mounted them by using something like Dolphin. There we go, I've now made a list of all of my different drives and their default mounting positions, just so we know what they're called and where they usually go. What we need to do now, is create new folders where we want these drives to land up. Usually you'll place them in slash MNT for mount and we'll create different drives in here for which we can then mount them. It's pretty simple. So we'll CD into mount. Now that we're in here, we'll need to make different folders based on what our drives are called. I've got a couple of different ones. So I'll MKDIR Atlas Midas Harold. This one here called a new volume is a small SSD, so I'll call it that. And finally, the unlabeled one is my Windows drive, so I'll call it Winder. Good enough. If you're not a huge fan of capital letters, you can, of course, avoid them here. And once you set everything up, run the command, although we'll need sudo. And just like that, we should have all of our different drives created here. What we'll do now is map each of these different drives to these mounting directories automatically. So to do that, we'll be running sudo followed by your editor of choice. So nano or envim, etc. etc. fstab as such and hit enter. Enter your password. And now inside of this folder here, we'll simply be adding UUID equals followed by the ID of one of our drives, which once again, we got from lsblk tac f and we'll copy each one of these as we go. So the first one in my case is a drive called Harold. So we'll paste it in. Then we'll need to follow it with a mounting point. So for example, MNT Harold 2. Then we'll set the file system, which in my case, as most of these are Windows drives, they're all NTFS. So we'll set it as NTFS. Although if you're mounting a Linux drive, it'll be X4, etc. Then the permissions you'll probably want to set as just defaults. However, you can get pretty in depth with setting limits on reading or writing, allowing permissions for different users, etc, etc. Then it's followed with a dump option, which for most tribes should be zero, and a pass option, which disables file system checks. We'll be setting this to zero, but it shouldn't really matter too much. Then we'll be doing the same for all of our different drives here. Now, the thing is, is that you don't necessarily need to use the UUID. Instead, you can just point to its partition name, such as SDB, SDB2. However, if you change how your disks are oriented in your PC by messing around with the wires, or of course, something just happens on reboot, then your mounting system will become all messed up. However, the UUIDs for each of your different drives shouldn't be changing at all. So I'd recommend using UUIDs instead, just to make sure nothing changes. Changes. I'll go ahead and mount the rest of mine. So next one is mount Atlas NTFS defaults 00. And when you're finally done with everything, simply just save the file and close it. We can sudo you mount hyphen A to unmount all of our drives. And this will unmount all of our different drives. If something's still in use, it won't be unmounted, but we should be able to go ahead and test things. So if we run sudo mount hyphen A, it'll go ahead and mount all of our drives based on our options inside of FSTAB. As you can see, all of my drives are now unlocked and I can access them. And when we do, for example, go into Atlas, click at the very top, you'll see it's mounted in mount Atlas. Perfect. Now, the next time I boot up my system, all of these should automatically be mounted. And of course, my wallpaper, which I've set from one of my NTFS Windows drives, that's usually unmounted, therefore reset to the default, should now be set whenever we boot up our system. That's it. Simply restart your system to see if changes work properly, which they likely should. So anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.